Hello and welcome to another weekly update here at beautiful scenic Riverside where the debris meets the sea. <laughs> All right, well, I still love this place despite what everybody else says about it and even I say about it sometime. And this past week was pretty interesting. I opened up a lot of new projects. I sort of finished a couple and uh, yeah, let's start off the list. So first things first, I paid my first bill here. I'm gonna go over that as briefly as I can, which basically sums up to hauling out the boat, launching the boat, two months worth of rent for having it on the hard, and quite a few supplies like epoxy boat primer, epoxy boat paint, things like that. It cost me a total of about $1,600, which is really, really cheap as everything goes. Now, there's a lot of, there's a few other things I do sort of get here for free. There's no paying for parking spaces, something silly like that. Uh, the electricity is for free here, which I think is pretty spectacular because I've done quite a bit of grinding and I had to use up some juice. So, bill is paid for. That right now, if I wanted to do nothing more to my boat and just leave, I could and I would be all paid up up until the fifth of the next month. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna be paying for at least one more month here. I would like to be just three months done. So that's where that is. Next up, let's start just going over stuff. I guess we can head up front to the anchor locker. Where you'll see, I haven't painted it yet, but it turned out okay. I'm gonna paint this a sand beige because I have some extra uh, top coat that I can put in here and I don't really care what the inside of this is. In fact, I'm probably gonna just lightly sand and paint all of this in here. So it's kind of one of the projects, but I'm very happy. This was my first time working with fiberglass. It was a very strange shape I had to work with and I've done better ones since, so I'll show you in a minute. But this turned out fantastic. And just to show you, it doesn't even flex anymore, so that's pretty cool. So that was one project fairly complete, uh, just to kind of rebuild that thing right there. So I feel good having that all done and dusted. Next project I just worked on actually a moment ago, you'll see all of these can pop right out because I took them out. A friend of mine, Kelly, who does upholstery work, will be re-sewing this for me, mainly taking these out because this is all bad. I can't really see through it very well. She'll be taking this to her workshop and restitching it. And then while she does that, I will be doing some, uh, well, first off, I have a full, yeah, full large thing of uh, plexiglass. I'll make a cutout, cut those out, and I'll replace it. While I have this all out, I plan on taking out all the screws, going over all the fiberglass, sanding it, getting it prepped and ready for when I do go to paint the top side soon. Another thing I'm gonna be doing is getting rid of this space here. There's no reason for this. It doesn't help me in any way. In fact, it hinders me when a wave comes up, hits this, and then splashes down and goes back into the cockpit. So I'm gonna eliminate that pretty simply by just laying some mat across here, uh, reinforcing it up. I'll probably even try to attach a little bit of it to here and maybe give it a little bit of an edge as well. I'm gonna have it go up underneath this so that way any water that does hit will just get splashed back down and be pretty good to go. And then here I plan on probably just putting, honestly, a piece of cloth across this so it won't disturb the lines. But when water does rush up, it won't smack against it so badly. The other thing is when it's cold, you do feel the breeze through there, which is kind of frustrating. So it's just one of those things that I've sailed with it and I don't like it, so I'm changing it. Moving on to other changes. The boat is still an absolute disaster. It's a little stressful having so many projects going on at once but there are other things I'm taking care of so I don't have to deal with them in the future. For instance, my hose and electrical used to come through here. I'm going to be glassing that back over, seeing how I'm already doing all this other boat work. And that'll be coming out of back behind here, which it always ends up right here anyway. That keeps it out of the way so nobody's stepping on it. And as we know, if you step on something, you could break it and it'd be really bad to have that break out in the ocean. Next project. I took out and replaced all of my septic line, all of it, which you can't see right now because I just filled everything back up. I can't wait to have an organized boat. What you see right here are three kites, three harnesses, two bars, all the tools of the adventure trade. But anyway, take my word for it. There's brand new 
brand new hose, and you can see one of them going right there. My emergency box, some more new hosing back in there. Brand new airline, ran all that through. It was a pain. Septic line is actually pretty frustrating to work with. I managed to cut myself in these very, these very pants, put the box cutter right through this and into my leg, but I pushed it together with some duct tape. And you can see it's healed up pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. No stitches needed, it got duct tape. What do you need stitches for? All right, next project. I absolutely love this thing too. I'll most likely be redoing it, maybe sanding it and staining it, maybe trying to seal it somehow, maybe throwing epoxy on it. I haven't really decided yet. I have kind of been throwing epoxy on everything now that I know how to work with it. It's been a lot of fun. And actually, speaking of one more quick project I did, I took the handle, I unscrewed it from here, drilled new holes, re-bed it into here, because it used to be that I could only bring it to here. Which you see how it kind of block it off a bit, but now it's just a couple inches of kind of headroom when you're coming and going up and down here, but those couple inches make a huge difference. Ladies, you know what I'm saying. All right, the bathroom, boom, brand new toilet, brand new through hole right down here. I cleaned both of these up and then I sprayed them with a clear coat so they look beautiful and they hopefully will stay that way. As well, I greased them so they work so well so easily. And you can see brand new line, brand new line. This will be attached to here. You notice it's a three-way valve. That will later be attached to my water maker. So when, you, when I'm making water, I won't be able to use a toilet, but I don't have to open up a whole new through hole. It's a compromise, but one I'm happy to make. So here's what I've been working on in here. In the past year or so, after I painted over this, water would leak down through a crack in here, which I will be sealing when I work on the Dodger up here. So I've made some filler, just went over it. This is actually still wet. I did this about 15 minutes ago. And then also there's a section here. So I sanded it and I cut it. And I just cut away everything that didn't look like it was needed. And that's it. I'm going to paint back over it and then I don't have to see that nasty yellow water that comes through. The wood was a little bit damaged because it was obviously soaked, but I put a heater on it, dried it all out. I couldn't pull any more away, so I didn't need to. Just left it. So it's another good project to be done and through. What else have I been up to in here? Top side. All right, other projects are down and around the boat. So first off, no, I have not painted the boat yet because I plan on doing the decks first, then to the top side, then to the hull, and so on. Um, taking a look here at the keel, taking a look here at, taking a look here at the rudder, really, really happy with the, the glass work that I did. It looks great. It's as good as it's going to. It's gonna be very functional and yeah, stronger than before. I took away what was uh, there before that was damaged, put new glass down, epoxied it, and then did a final coat over it. Just got done scuffing it, so paint will adhere to it. But you can see it's got a great, boom, corner up there, corner up there, rounded there, rounded there. So I'm very happy with the way that turned out. Over here, we've got my surfboard. My surfboard, I damaged uh, about a week or so ago when I was kiteboarding. And I did some epoxy work to it because I love working with the epoxy now. And I decided I need to paint it. And I thought, well, what if I use the same stuff I'm gonna be putting on the top side of my boat? That way I can see what it looks like before I actually put it on the boat and hopefully learn how to work with it. And it was a great idea. So unfortunately it rained really, really badly. So I have this dirt that I have to sand off and I'll have to probably put another layer back on it. But the color, I love. It's exactly what I want my boat to look like. This is what everybody will see. God, I hate that train so much, so much. <sighs> to whoever the conductor is of that train. Anyway, in other news, there is one other boat project that I sort of had to start. Ba Boom, what is this? This will be bent to the bow of my boat, the very, very front, to protect it against all this stuff in the future. It'll come down to probably about here, all the way up to there. It's made out of stainless steel. It doesn't look like it because it's just got a bunch of dirt and sand and dust and stuff on it. But this stuff will be shiny enough that you can see your own reflection in it once I'm done with it. So I plan to cut it, zip, 
zip and then start bending it and then once I get close to the bend that I want and that'll be from blow torching the back side of it uh, hitting it with a mallet a lot uh, it's gonna be just a dirty monkey project of just going up there and just banging on it till it till it does what I want it to and uh, yeah then I'll have a bow shield an anchor shield a icebreaker whatever it's not an icebreaker it wouldn't work for that so that's a pretty much a rough estimate of what I've been up to this past week. I have been all over the place, kind of hitting little projects here and there on the boat, and I've been pretty scatterbrained, but I'll talk more about that in my Patreon video. So if you guys don't know, this is just a quick video update that I do. I do a full in-depth video on all the projects, how I'm doing them, and how I feel in uh, my Patreon video. And with that, a special thanks to my patrons, Dustin Holland, he's been there for the longest and he's been a huge supporter. Dustin, thank you so much. Rolling with the Tide, you're great. Evan Ski, thank you so much. Alexander Taylor, you're awesome. As well, I'd like to welcome a new member, Jeff Mead. Jeff, thank you so much. And I believe I'm missing somebody, I am. Todd Howman, thank you so much. All of you guys are great. You guys support the videos and the work and the journey that I'm going through because boat projects are a journey and a half. So thank you guys very much. It is greatly appreciated. That concludes it here. If you guys got any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week. Take care.